That's right. We're on live. We're going to get this thing done one way or another. What's up to y'all? How was it like raising twins? What was it like? Oh my God, it was crazy. Um, they were when they were little, they would swap personalities too. They huh. would be one way for a while, and then they would just totally swap. But it was challenging. But I learned a lot, and um, I think they've turned out to be decent little little young ladies. Yes, ma'am. Okay, what about as far as uh, them being visually impaired? Was that an extra uh, added? Uh, um, you know, tasks that you had to deal with, or they, you know, they just went along as any other individual sighted people. No, it was um, a task at first when I when I had them. I had them at 29 weeks, mm -hmm. and they they were born blind, retinopathy prematurity, mm -hmm. and then when they were a few months old, well, until about they were a year old, I sheltered them, wouldn't let them go outside. I was afraid mm -hmm. of everything, and then after that, I, they started going outside, riding horses, and we got started into the braille thing. You know, them learning Braille and being able to, I decided, you know, I need to stop sheltering them because they could be productive. They were just blind. Mm -hmm. And it's it's been a challenge because they were the first ones in our parish mm -hmm. that um, was visually impaired and the school had to adapt to. But I can tell you, they had some great teachers. Okay. That, but it was very, very challenging at first. Mm -hmm. The, the number one thing was trying to figure out the smell of, of a fruit, you know, we're trying to, to explain to them what, what things were. Mm. So I would get fart spray and spray fart spray at them. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah. as, as as far as them being being twins, are you able, I mean, of course you're the mom, but uh, when they dressed alike and everything like that, was it hard for you to tell them apart? <laughs> yes, it was. I can look back on pictures now. They looked identical when they were, um, when they were little, all the way up until they were about 12 or 13. But yeah, they, um, Matt Morgan had a mole on her left hand. Mm -hmm. And that's, um, that's how everyone told her apart at the time. I could tell them apart, but they were identical. They looked so much alike. And they do sound the same for me. I mean, not me not being able to see it is hella hard to try to, to uh, tell them apart. And that's why I was calling, I would call your, your, uh, Ma Megan, that's why I would call her twin, because it was hard yeah. for me to move, and she does not like that. But I know you're driving. Yeah. I want to, uh, you have anything else you want to say before you? Because I know you're driving. I want, to, want you to get into a wreck. But you have I just any appreciate, yeah, I just appreciate you, um, dealing with Morgan, you know, and I, I know y'all been on the phone a lot with my craziness, but I really appreciate what you do. and and inviting her to do this stuff. Thanks so much, and I appreciate it. And and uh, anytime, you know, you want to come here, you know, you and Morgan, you, you're welcome to do, to do so, okay? Ah!